Trunks here are good. Your trunks here are very high. Punches here will still be good, okay? Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. Having to hunt people down for 12 rounds, amazingly fluid combination punching style. Does it mean, Emmanuel Stewart? And, and doesn't have a big punch on, to last oh, watch a your long watch your So he better have all the success before he is age 30. Right now, it's a phone booth fight. At Seiko is not utilizing his height at all. To see, they could be the same height for his concern. But I tell you what, I've still have been impressed with his punching power. But look at the intensity of Diaz as he backs Suiko into the ropes. And he's going to do that all night. And particularly in this case here where the guy's not boxing with height, just setting a fight. And here you see at this phase of the round that Diaz is willing to box him. Well, on his last fight against Jose Miguel Cotto, Diaz showed that he could do three or four different things. He changed the pace. He boxed. He slugged. He fought at a faster pace. A variety of different things that kept Cotto off balance and gave him constant initiatives in the fight. And there he rises out of the crowd, fires a big one, two upstairs, goes right back to the body punching behind the protective guard, and ultimately take the starch out of the fighter in front of him. And immediately come out of the defensive stance with a combination like that. One, Diaz, two, three, four. Diaz is fighting the perfect fight, which he was supposed to fight. I have to believe that swimming... Come on, come on, watch your heads inside, watch your heads. Watch, watch that shoulder inside, watch that shoulder, Diaz. Diaz is the long-term product of a gym that's run by a man named Willie Savannah in Houston. He's had a lot of... ...in 74, 75, and 76 is one of the best amateur boxers ever. And as, and as an amateur, he had a victory over Thomas Hearns. Hearns beat him in 77, but coach with Diaz. Well, in fact, Ronnie is the primary trainer. Savannah still helps out. I ran into Ronnie in the hallway yesterday. I said, uh, quite obviously, you're working with a fighter whom you expect to do the same thing every time out. And Ronnie smiled and said, I don't ever expect to see a more consistent prize fighter than Juan Diaz. Pushing some of his punches as he tries to make an impact and keeps throwing those withering combinations at close range. And eventually just going to be a short left hook he throws his body punches as they get inside and close. Look at the accuracy. That is just stunning. The accuracy with which Juan Diaz can find the target as he did there with the left hook and the chopping right hand. He loses his punching power. Body shot by Diaz, perfect right hand upstairs. Every punch is properly placed. The rhythm fighter is Diaz. It's, it's remarkable to see him actually make an adjustment. When he looks up and says, oh, I landed that left hook, I think I'll throw it again. Oh, yeah. And he has to vary the shoulder roll slightly because he's in a rhythm. To Very good cagey fighter, so he can make him have to fight at a distance. Be, be a little too strong, maybe, for Diego Steele, even though he's short. Punch. Always dangerous to fight a puncher like Corrales. Yeah, yeah, Fredo's on the Fredo's. Yeah, I think he would do very well with Fredo's. Boom. Left hook, right cross combination. Brilliant, solid connects for Juan Diaz. Incidentally, we're almost the same as in round one. Oh, it's going to be 44 continue. out of 84 for Diaz, 11 out of 89 for Suico. Not using his height, not doing anything different. Very, very basic, very predictable. Diaz almost has a grin on his face as this continues to evolve toward a sparring session type fight. And he's getting paid good for the sparring session. <laughs> the sparring part is paid. Repeating <laughs> pattern, minute after minute, walk in the park so far for Juan Diaz of Houston, Texas. And the Vargas have left. Harold Letterman, how have you scored the first three rounds of Diaz Suico? Look at you. Three to nothing, 30 to 27. There hasn't been a clinch in this fight. I think when he get hit with one of those monster shots that he would tie the guy up. But he never does. I mean, he's bigger, he's taller, got longer arms. You're saying the tie doesn't know how to tie him up. I think it's a cultural oh, trait. I think you'll rarely see an Asian fighter tie anybody up. Yeah. They uh, like the throw. I misspoke. I said he was a tie. Obviously, he's a Filipino fighter. We're going to see a tie fighter later we're on. We're going to see a tie fighter later on. 
Well, I guess the saying is like uh, baseball players in the Caribbean. You know, you got to hit your way off the island. Baseball, you can walk off the island. He has landed more than 50% of his punches in the fight. He's landing power shots. Suico can take it, but Diaz is dishing it out with astonishing consistency. And incidentally, you'll notice that Suico's punches have no impact anymore. No, Those were all pity pat shots. Yeah, he's throwing a few pity pat punches, but then he'll try to set you up and then throw a power shot in between after he relaxes you. But for the most part, the fight is going strictly in the direction of Diaz. Combinations together. It's thrilling to watch. Never has he ever hurt Suico. No. If he had knockout power, he had some of the fastest hands in the sport, and he misses only one thing. That's a nearly 70%. His accuracy remains astonishing. And I also hear the referee, Joe Cortez, tell Suico if he doesn't start returning punches back, he may stop the fight. This is just that virtually everything is getting blocked. Punch anyway, that's just not his style anyway. We're saying, are you going to answer back? He threw 94 punches in the last round. His arms and gloves. You think that Pacquiao, who is a featherweight fighting at 130, could fight somebody like Diaz? He's struggling to keep his weight down from being a junior welterweight. I think he would be too strong. One thing Manny does have is a tremendous good punch. This is almost textbook stuff from Diaz. Joe Cartes is looking for an excuse to possibly stop it. But it would be the most amazing thing you've ever seen. But you wouldn't see it just one side of the club. If it's like this, believe it or not, we stop workouts like this quickly in the gym. Uh, yep. When they start the workouts at the gym, the cheer goes off, let the beatings begin, and that's when the wars start. Do you think Jermaine Taylor's six weeks in Kronk were instrumental in setting up his performance against Winky Wright? Winky on technical skills, he was tough enough to throw 10, 15 punches at a time. Randy Suico, 51 out of 131, and for Juan Diaz, as he heads toward a shutout. 301 power shots thrown by Suico, he's thrown 65 more than Diaz, but he's landed amazing. The shorter fighter just has a bigger target. That's correct. And also, you got the handicap punches as compared to the shorter fighter. Putting on a show. There it is again. Yep, you got three shots off before Suico can get one punch off. And we're out of that range, uh, Emmanuel. We're, we're beyond this area where Suico's face didn't show the damage. Well, in his last fight against Jose Miguel Cotto, he threw 120 punches in the 12th round and looked fresh as a daisy. Amazing. Just like that. The way he goes back and sets up the defensive envelope as soon as he throws a five, six, seven punch combination. Shows the training skills of Ronnie Shields, really. Oh, fantastic. But he's so many punches and with such accuracy. Lives at home with his mother. That would be too big a distraction amid the ongoing professional boxing career and the full load of undergraduate college education at the University of Houston downtown. Instead of the expression on Joe Cortez's face, I know he's looking for any excuse where he can stop this fight. But because of things like what Suico yeah, is doing now, you just can't just, stop it. Exactly. Suico's still fighting with all his art. Rather than being with the trainers who had gotten the most out of him? You know, when, when they first uh, decided to... But it, it, he's, it's been effective for him up there, so, you know, I, I would leave it at that. Harold, how do you have it so far? One D is Chip, I know a lot of people are going to say maybe we should score some of these rounds 10-8 instead of 10-9, but Randy Suico keeps punching back. 10-8 rounds, if Diaz had... I guess what I mean is hurt him more badly than he's hurting him. Hey, you, you know, wonder why they put the stool in there. 
Well, now, now we go back to George Foreman again, because Foreman's argument was it takes more energy to sit down and then stand up. Very relaxed fight all, all throughout his second career. And then, oh, by the way, I'll hit you with a big shot. Yep. This might be a round that uh, we have to score for, for him, given how many punches he's absorbed. It's definitely, definitely spirited Sweet effort from Randy Suico. Oh, it's hard. Right. But Harold Letterman agrees with the gentleman next to me and decides to give the round to Randy Suico. Now let's see if Diaz picks up the pace again in this round after having basically cut his punch output there in round number seven. Everybody has to take a vacation sometime. On the seventh round. The tape cut and the fight back. Emmanuel, you ever train a fighter and make noise on every punch like Diaz? No, and I think it's a bad habit, too, because, you know, it, uh, you keep making the noise to keep up with these punches. Suico is coming back and actually is, is punching with power himself periodically. Yeah, well, Diaz will put a stop to that with that stuff right there. Energy a little bit and then decided to cut loose. Perfect, perfect executed combination, but nevertheless. With the intensity of the way he goes about things, you wonder why Diaz lacks power. Is it because he gives away his leverage, uh, Emmanuel? I, I don't know. It's just very hard for me to see. I think he punches with every punch going for the knockout once again, where his opponents just tighten up their bodies in anticipation of power punches, and therefore he's not that effective. But I don't see that much where he seems like he punches okay to me. And maybe just being in with guys who had a good chin. Until sometimes I work on the pads with guys and find out they, they pull their gloves halfway open when they're punching. And if you're going to throw as many punches as Diaz does, and we bring you back into the ring inside, ninth round, schedule 12, Juan Diaz in the light blue trunks, spent his entire career in the welterweight class. Juan Diaz, 29 and 0 with 14 KOs coming in, looking for his 30th consecutive pro victory. Uh, outgrown the 130-pound class. Chasing him across the ring to keep landing. Well, and Randy Suico's a strong fighter. You can see his commitment and his courage, and he takes right. another big right hand upstairs from Diaz. Yeah. Yes, he does. What? It's the accumulation of punishment, so often against a fighter who doesn't have the one-shot power to knock you out, which can lead to serious damage. They're very conscious of that here in Las Vegas. The winner by TKO victory, still undefeated and still WBA lightweight champion of the world, Juan Baby Bull Diaz.